Hello and welcome to today's overview video of scheduled jobs in ServiceNow Express. This is a new feature as of the Istanbul release that lets you schedule any template to be auto-created at the set frequency that you desire. Let's begin with the common use case. A user wants a standard change request that they do every week and assign to a given user or group to be automated so they don't have to remember to do the task. So to start, the user defines the template that they'd like. They go ahead and they open a change record, perhaps related to the change they're doing, a standard patching, and they go ahead and they make sure to save it to a template. I'll do this by clicking into the record, toggling the template bar, and creating a new template. The template will automatically populate with the current fields on the form. I'll make any edits required for this template. Short description, I'm going to call this my standard patching weekly. And I'll set the name to be the same. For this given template, I'm going to double check the fields, change the requested by to be myself, and make sure that there's no specific hard-coded dates, such as the planned start or the planned end. I'll also make sure that the assignments are as intended. Bose will stay assigned as he's the expert on patching, but we'll also add an assignment group. We'll make sure that the database team that handles these patches is assigned. Now that I have my template with all the fields I desire, I'm going to go ahead and press save. This template is now ready for use in an automated scheduled job. I simply come over to my scheduled jobs module and I press new. Here, I define what the name of this scheduled job will be, which in my case is going to be the weekly patching task. Now, admin users will have access to all scheduled jobs, whereas ITIL admins will have access to their own. Here, I set the frequency to run weekly on Monday at 7 a.m. Now, this time slot is base 24, so if you want to run 7 p.m., this number would be 19 instead. I'll leave it at seven, and I'm gonna go ahead and select my patching template, standard patching weekly that I had just created. For the sake of this example, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to change what the frequency is to go ahead and run it every so often, or periodically, starting immediately and running every 50 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and press submit. And just like that, this standard patching weekly is now active. When I head back over to my change view and I look at the open changes, we will see that it is going to begin to apply. And the first iteration has already run. We can see plan start empty and the assignment is bow. All the other values I've templated are predefined. This is a very quick and easy way to automate any repetitive tasks you may have in the system. Now there's something neat we can do with templates, which is actually linking child tasks to a parent task via child templates. So for example, with a change, you may have child change tasks that you want included on that template. So when you're auto scheduling it to occur, it happens with those child tasks. Let's take a look at how that's done. We simply navigate over to where we have our templates, click the template module, and let's create three sample templates. The first will be the parent change, so I will name this parent change, pointing to the change request table, and setting the short description to parent change for visibility. And I'm going to go ahead and create two child tasks, change task one. And as we can see, I'll go ahead and utilize two existing templates on the child change task table, change task one and change task two. 
Now with my parent change template in the system, let's see how we can link two child change task records. How we do that is we go ahead and we press the cog on our template list view and we add the next related child template as well as next related template fields. Now the next related child template is how you link that parent record to the first child. So when I'm linking my parent change to a child change task one, I'm gonna simply define in my parent change that change task one. We can see my parent change has been linked to change task one through the next related child template field. Now I need to link though my second child change task as well. How you do that, however, is you do not use the next related child template field again. Instead, from this existing change task one, we're gonna go ahead to the next related template field and then define the change task two. Just like that, if I were to schedule this change and look at a change request form that has the change task parent field, I will observe the relationship between that parent and those child change tasks. So keep in mind that if you use templates to automate the relationship of a primary record and child records, it will link the child templates and the parent through the parent field. So these change tasks are linked here through the parent.